what goes around comes around is so true. Hosea's petition to the Israelites to stop rejecting God's love and God's intimate relationship could it be a plea to us today. So for yourselves justice, reap the fruit of piety, break up for yourselves a new field, for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain down justice upon you. It calls us to faithful witness of who we are, disciples of Jesus Christ, by accepting the responsibility to which our baptism calls us. The responsorial psalm says it best, seek always the face of the Lord. We just celebrated the 4th of July and the founding ideals of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, equality, and justice for all. Although we envision a country where the ideal is that all are created equal, it's discouraging to see the ideal fade with increasing division, polarization, inequality, and consequential uh, violence. Sowing justice, reaping the fruit of piety, hardly. Together in unity, seeking always the face of the Lord seems a hope and not a reality. In so many ways, in so many examples, there is a lack of justice, mercy, and peace, and little piety. We need to break up a new field, a conversion, a change. The lack of respect for one another, the lack of care and mercy seems the norm, not the exception. And it's very sad. Coincidentally, today is the feast of Maria Goretti, who is revered as a model of mercy, who died rejecting injustice. In 1902, Maria was an 11-year-old Italian girl repeatedly stabbed for resisting a sexual assault. She was an innocent victim, yet in the few days after, before she died, she not only forgave her killer, but later she appeared to him in prison as an apparition, inspiring his conversion. Despite her young age, she followed Christ to her death. That kind of example leads us to the call in the gospel of the apostles. What is important to realize is that Jesus did not call exceptional men, but ones who were ordinary and even flawed, just like all of us, by accepting, but they still accepted their mission and goal. Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Like them, we are called to proclaim mercy, justice, and especially hope to the needy and poor, those who are poor in body, in mind, and in spirit. Even when ridiculed, attacked, victimized, or persecuted, we must be people of mercy and piety connected to our Lord. Pope Francis, true to his name, has been a strong advocate of a church that cares for the poor, a church that is a field hospital of mercy, that in the words of the prophet Micah, seeks justice, loves mercy, and walks humbly with our God. Today, honoring Maria Goretti, we need to pray for more mercy than revenge, more openness than narrowness, more unity than division, each in our own way, we need to be good witnesses of faith, hope, and love. And together, especially together on this earthly journey, to seek always the face of the Lord.